friends, Miss Carrie here. I'm so excited that you're joining me for All Stars today. Last week we learned that God loved the world so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Well, in today's lesson, you're going to hear a story that Jesus actually told to crowds of people. It's about a woman and a coin and a celebration. But if you meet me after the last song, Right here, I'm going to show you how to play a game using this coin and this game board. So let's get up off our feet because it's about that time that we're going to sing and worship Jesus. looking for something. We sold a ton of the world's best lemonade and collected a whole bunch of money. But we lost the money jar. Can you believe it? I'm so sad. I've got to find it. I've looked up, 
Look, look, look. I've looked down. Look, look, look. I've looked all around. Look, look, look. And I still can't find the money jar. I'm just not sure what happened to it. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Looking all around, are you? Hi, Ollie. We collected lots of money to buy games for kids in the hospital, but I lost the money jar. I'm sorry to hear that you are blue. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Follow me through. Hoo. Ollie's got a Bible story for me. Oh, hey there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Have you seen my pocket watch? I always keep it right here. I had it this morning, but... Oh, what was that? You see it? In my other pocket. <gasps> well, looky there. Thanks, friends. It's the best feeling when you found something you lost, isn't it? In fact, I've got a story for you. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is one Jesus told about a woman who had 10 coins. There they are. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Wait, where's number 10? The lady counted again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, number 10. The lady decided to look for the missing coin. Look, look, look. She turned on a lamp. Look. Look, look, and swept the floor looking for her lost coin. Look, look, look. Do you see it anywhere? Shout out when you see it. There it is. She found it. She called all her friends and neighbors and said, celebrate with me. I found my lost coin. Let's count them all now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hooray! Jesus told this story because he wanted us to know that just like the coin was special to the lady, we are special to God. Let's celebrate! Woohoo! Everyone say, God loves me and I am special. Ready? One, two, three. God loves me and I am special. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. You are very special. And God loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. God loves me and I'm special to God. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Let's celebrate. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39 Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8.39
looking for it. She kept searching and searching, even though she had nine other coins, that one coin that she could not find was so special to her. And that kind of reminds me of how we are so special to God. You know, sometimes people get lost from God. They may stop talking to him by praying. They may start doing not so nice things, but God will never give up on you. He will keep searching and searching, just like the woman was searching for her coin, till he finds you because you're so important to him, and he loves you so much, and he wants to be your friend forever. That reminds me, remember I told you that we were going to play a game with my lucky coin? Well, I don't know where it is. I was searching and searching for it. Hmm, wait a minute. There it is. There's my lucky coin. Well, you don't need a lucky coin, but you do need some kind of a coin, like a quarter or a nickel or a dime. And you'll need this printout that I emailed your parents. And you will need post-it notes. These are just little sticky notes. When you peel it off, there's sticky part on top. And you're going to stick that on the bottom of these squares. And then you can have your mom or dad help you write one, two, and three on them. So what we're going to do for our game is I'm going to hide my lucky coin under one of these numbers. And then I want you to guess which one it's under. Are you ready? All right. First, I'm going to put the coin under one of the numbers. And I'll move my camera down so you can see there we go. Now, I want you to guess which number do you think it's under? Is it one, two, or three? Let me hear you. I 
You think it's under three? No, not three. Do you think it's under number one? Yep, you were right. Okay, I'm gonna do it again, but this time I'm gonna cover it with my thinking emoji so you can't see. I'm gonna move it around, all right. Now take a guess, shout it out, what number? Two, you said? Boy, you're good, there it is. So boys and girls, this is a very easy game to make. And you can play it with your whole family. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Bible story today. And remember, God loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. Bye, girls and boys.